The Alabama, Alabama is, is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Gets out to around the 35. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Makes the grab and steps out right away. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Here we go! Red hot! Caught out in the open. He's taken down right around the 42-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Roger, Roger. Mike 6, 33, 33. Strip the ball. Ready! Black, 90! Let's 90! throw to the tight end, and he's tackled around the 18-yard line. He showed some excellent moves out there, more than you usually expect from a tight end. That was a big gain, and this offense keeps humming along. From the 18-yard line, first down. Receiver and he dropped it. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. That makes it second and ten. Here we go. And he is drilled at the 16-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes it third and seven. From the 16-yard line. It's third down. Let's go! Red and five! Cut. Caught end zone for the touchdown. And that one worked just like they draw it up, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, you're exactly right. Offensive line did a good job of protecting the quarterback. Good route by the receivers. Results, touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A seven-play, 76-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. So the score now, 7-0. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Alabama's staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. You know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. And he's taken down at the 36. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Go four. Three. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. That's a great tackle at the 46. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. And he's hit immediately. So they complete that for about four yards, and they'll pick up a first down. I think they were expecting a run on that play, Brad, and it allowed the quarterback to throw for just enough yards to get the first down. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. 
He gets rid of this one. Second and ten. Ball on the 50. Gets rid of it. He goes downtown. The defender had it and then dropped it. Quick thinking there. You know, they're liable to put the ball in the air on third, so it's a smart play to keep your hands ready. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Vanderbilt up seven points. With the pass incomplete. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. That makes it third and three. Offense lines up in a five wide set in a defense anticipating pass here. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. First and ten. Ball on their own 36. Here comes the pressure. He heaves it deep. Finds his receiver who's all alone. Touchdown, Commodores. Hold everything, folks. There's a marker down. Let's get the call. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. So it's second down and 15 after the penalty. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. So they end up with a loss after calling the draw. He started out rushing the passer and then just got lucky and ran right into the running back on the draw. he released that football that he shouldn't have made the throw and that's the thing when you're under that kind of pressure it takes away that one split second you need to scan the area so you know where it's a safe throw first down 10 yards to go ball on the 27 and they make the stop at the 34 yard line they get a good seven yards on that one. Hey, they picked up a nice gain of seven yards on that play. Great pass. That makes it second and two. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Watch 36, 36 to my black part. Nice run up the middle. Decent game there on the play by the running back, and that's enough for the first. He knew where he had to go to get the first down, and he got there. Nice run. First and ten. Ball on the 38. Go four. Two, four. Two, four. He steps out at the 40. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. The Commodores lead 7-0. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Go 
Quick strike to the receiver. Brought down at the 41-yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. From the 41 yard line, it's first down. 36 to Mike. Oh, you got deep. Red two. Orange three. Get to that quickly. And down he goes at the 31. Number 31 with the tackle at the 31 yard line. That'll make it second and inches. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Red, two. Tackle around the 28-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. First and ten. Four down, four down. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Red, two. Go. Inside run, and he's hit hard. From the 28-yard line, it's second down. When you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier, that was fantastic pursuit. This is the 10th play of this drive. for it all to the end zone. Makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown. These poor guys in the secondary look like they're still trying to catch up with him. He's gone in a heartbeat. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he adds the extra point. A nine-play, 73-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. We're even at seven in this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. see from this guy. He's not afraid to go to the air on any down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 36. They'll bring him down to the 49-yard line. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Number 10 on the tackle at the 47-yard line. That'll bring up third and eight. Job by the defense at getting after that quarterback, and right now I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Try to change the field position with his kick. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Run 
run up the middle. That brings him second and five. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 25. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. You'll get the call again. He's tackled at the 22. That's a great play by the defense. It's nothing like a defense being able to slip off of a block, get into the backfield of the offense, and then make a play in the backfield to be able to create some momentum possibly for this defense. around the 32-yard line. Great job by the quarterback. He had a slant called against zone coverage and threw it at the perfect time. From their own 32-yard line. First down. X7. Shut down. Motion, motion, check. Gets it quickly to the tight end, but it's dropped. I know this quarterback trusts his arms and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. Black five. He rifles it to the right. And so it's another third down upcoming here. goes out of bounds at the 35-yard line. And this one is a beauty. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset, and they're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. Pulls it in and stops in his tracks with that tackle. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. With a quick throw. He's taken down at the 42. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. He airs it out. Hey, that's a heads up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. That makes it second and ten. Throws complete, he's got room to work. Out of bounds at the 20-yard line. From the 20-yard line, first down. the 12-yard line. A nice job on the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. The Commodores are going to call their second timeout. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. That's just a great play to separate the ball from the receiver. He'll be feeling that hit tomorrow. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Watch out here, and he hits him hard at the six. They'll spread the field with five wide. Regular, regular, regular. And he's taken down just outside the goal line. Got him over the middle, 
Multiple touchdowns. And he tacks on the extra point. A nine play, 76 yard drive. And it's good for seven points. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Alabama's gotten the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen. But, I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront, or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this to the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. But you're right. Something has got to happen where the, his teammates, the rest of this group, they've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. From their own 36-yard line, it's first down. Go ahead. Makes the grab past the marker. Alabama will have one timeout remaining. Not over here. Not over here. Not over here. Red two. He's out of bounds at the 46. That's a gain of four. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 46-yard line. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. And they got him. Alabama's called their final timeout. That's incomplete. We played a half of football. Vanderbilt leads it 14-7. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half, and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio with the best seat in the house. It belongs to Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, Vanderbilt's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Red two, blue four, blue four. Fires quickly, and he's got his man, and he's hit immediately. Number, Number 10, 10 on the on tackle, tackle at the 33-yard line. line. That'll, That'll bring, bring up 32. 32. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. They got to him, and he did not get the first down. This is a good call by the defensive coordinator. He guessed run, and when the offense came with it, his guys were in position to make the stop.
booming kick. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Vanderbilt is up a score. Gets to about the 24-yard line. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 24. Hands it off. Runs outside for a nice game. I think a corner loves to have a chance to come up and make a play in the run game. So often they get labeled as just great athletes and they just want to be involved in the passing game and the being able to defend a, a receiver. Here you see an attitude from this corner as he comes up, reads the play, and makes the play in the backfield. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's tackled at the 38-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. In the back gets three on the carry. We've watched this guy play, and over the course of his college career, he's made some spectacular tackles. Nice play. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Black five, black five. And they make the stop at the 49. Number 23 on the tackle at the 49-yard line. First down. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. These short, effective passes are going to help the quarterback's confidence. That makes it second and four. That feels awful. Come on. You guys can do better than that. They're about four yards away here on second down. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Go ahead, Q. Red go. seven. Red seven. Let's go. He's going to try and scramble. Heading for the corner. Brought down at the 41. First down. Four down, four down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Orange three. Orange three. Here we go. Slings it. Guys, I really like what the offensive coordinator is doing here. Throwing it on first and second down will keep the defense guessing. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 24. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Here we go, here we go. Kill, kill. Panther, two to Tackle at the 10-yard line. He goes over 100 yards in receptions. Even when he isn't open, the quarterback will still throw him the ball and just let him make a play. It really shows the trust that the quarterback has with his receiver. Here's the eighth play of the series. Defense and their short yardage package. And down he goes at the two. That makes it 
The offense is down by seven, so this is a very, very big third and goal. We're at the one. Looks to the end zone and it's caught. Touchdown. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nice nine play, 62 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven on seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. 14 apiece. Alabama's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this, and another great performance by him individually and for this offense. He gets sacked on the play. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down, when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. So the sack makes this a second and long. Crosses left, intercepted to the 20. So the turnover will once again give the ball back to this offense. That's two interceptions today by this defense. Their coach has to be happy that they're forcing turnovers. They'll bring him down at about the three-yard line. So at the end of the third quarter, we're deadlocked right now at 14. Great three quarters of action, tight ball game, and now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Quick throw to the tight end. It's first and ten. Ball in the 35. Pickup of about three. Nice grab there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. It's second and seven. Ball on their own 38. tight end again. He's tackled right around the 42-yard line. From the 42-yard line, first down. Here's a quick throw. And he's finally out of bounds at the 14 yard line. Got him again. Well, 
where the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, and somehow he's able to throw the ball away. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 14. Nice run there. The tailback picks up a solid seven yards on the counter play. Third down. Check, 33, 33. Ready! Black with the five. five. He steps up at the five. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Pitch out to the right and tackle behind the line. Defense stiffens on fourth down, and the ball will change hands. Yeah, they went with a toss play here, but no one on that defensive side of the ball was fooled. You got to give them credit for making a great play. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Alabama is up by a touchdown. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. Call it a gain of 15 yards. That, that makes, makes it first, first and 10. ten. First and 10. Ball on the 21 yard line. Three down, three down. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Black five, black five. Boo, 20. Motion, motion, motion. Go. He's taken down around the 29-yard line. Gain of eight on the play. That, that makes it second and two. Right, right, right. Four down, four down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Red, two. Blue, four. Blue, four. and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44. Red two. Red seven, red seven. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Black five, black five. Got it. And he goes down quickly. A five-yard gain. Not a bad play. They gain five yards out of it, and they keep moving the defense back. He might not be able to get the pass off. Just throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Tackle made the 39-yard line. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front. And it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. And he's tackled around the 40-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. They go with a run. That'll make it 35. They'll line it up again on third down. Four down, four down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Boo, 20. Go. And they're not going to get it. Great stop.
And that's the end of the ball game and our final score in this one, 21-14, Alabama. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.